Hey everyone, in this really quick video, I wanted to go over the advanced paste capability we have with the Windows Power Toys tools. Now, if you've never seen the Power Toys tools, there's a huge set of fantastic capabilities. Uh, the link to the install I've got in the description below, but there's many ways you can install it based on, hey, I can just go and grab an installation file, the Microsoft Store, Package Manager, etc. And then once you've gone and installed it, we can then configure, well, which of the capabilities do we actually want to use? So if I open up its little icons, so we can see down here, I've got my little Power Toys icon. And what we're gonna do is open up the settings option. Now, we're on the dashboard, and straight away on the dashboard, it's showing you which are the enabled modules. So right now you can see I have that advanced paste enabled. If it wasn't enabled, it'll just be under the disabled modules and I go and flip that little switch and then it will be an enabled feature. And I would definitely take time to go and look at all of the different capabilities because they're super cool. Um, I'm using a number of them. But then you can go and configure the specific sets of configuration related to that tool. So for advanced pace, it's under the system tools option. And then we have advanced paste. And what we have here is obviously, firstly, it's enabled. You can enable a paste with AI when you go and hook into an open AI API key. Now, when you do the AI, it's going to add things like summarizing text and translating text and generating code and transforming text. Uh, all of the things you think about generative AI being able to perform. But then you have these basic capabilities that are just core to the tool. And one of them is the clipboard history, and that's an OS feature. And I've covered that clipboard history and using the snipping tool in a previous video. So I'm not gonna cover that again here. But then you get these different actions that I can assign key presses to. Now you have this open advanced paste window, and it's the window shift V. So normally we, we do control V to paste something, you can customize any of these combinations just with the little pen little edit button there. But right now it's Windows Shift V. So that would open up a list of options related to what's currently in your clipboard. But then we can also go and assign specific key combinations to things you might do the most. For example, place as plain text directly, Windows Control Alt V, so they're the three buttons all in a row, so actually very easy to use. I've got that as a combination, and I use that all the time. Many times you copy something that has some stylizing, maybe it's got links in it, and I just want the basic text. This is a super powerful thing. But you can paste as Markdown directly, paste as JSON directly. Um, from an image to text, you could go and do image to text directly. Again, those I like the Windows Control Alt, it's the three keys all in a row, it's very easy to press, and then one of these buttons. But we could just go and play with this and you can go and configure whatever you want to do. So if we think about just the advanced pace window, if we quickly just take some text. So if I just do control C, so that's in my clipboard. If I just go over to notepad, so if I do that um, window shift V over here, it brings up the specific menu. So here it's got placed as plain text, pastes markdown, JSON, pastes a text file, pastes HTML, and get to the clipboard history. So we have all of those sort of key capabilities over there. Or of course, I could just use my combination. So I could do my, let's say I take something with a bunch of formatting like this. Well, I could just do my control alt window V and I just get that plain text. So I can easily do that. But we could also say, well, hey, look, I've, I've got this stylized text. And I want to paste it as markup. So if I bring up that handy menu, oh, I'm not being quick enough with my options. There we go. I could say, hey, paste it as markdown. So now I'm going to get the markdown version of that text. Likewise, I might have some HTML over here and I'll copy it to my clipboard as well. And once again, I'll do the paste as markdown and it converts that HTML to markdown. So that's a, a really cool set of capabilities there. Likewise, I've got some XML. I'll put that in my clipboard 
And this time we'll paste it as JSON and it converts the XML to JSON format. So it really has some fantastic capabilities that we're commonly going to want to use and interact with. Now, likewise, if I actually do an image capture, so I'm just capturing that part. So now I have an image in my clipboard and I'm using the snipping tool, which again, I covered in a different video. But now if I open up that menu, notice my options are different. I can do a paste as a PNG file or I can do image to text. So it's doing optical character recognition. And now it took that. So I have all of these great capabilities that are just super easy to use. And I definitely recommend taking the time to get in the habit of doing some of those key shortcuts. So rather than having to open up that menu, I'm constantly doing Control Alt Windows V for just the plain text. Control Alt Windows M for the markdown. Control Alt Windows I is the way I've got it set up to go and do that image to text because I've got something on a page and I want the text from it. So it's just super cool. It's very low maintenance on your system, low overhead. There are a bunch of other tools and capabilities as well, but just, hey, I would go and check it out. The tool does automatically update. it tell you if there's a new version available, you can go and install it. Um, I hope that's useful. Till next video, take care.